What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here, and welcome back to some more Immortals Phoenix Rising, a new god DLC. Today, we're going to be doing Ares Trial of Blessing. So, this is the last trial for Ares, and it is one of the most difficult and mind boggling ones maybe to do but let's get straight into this trial so here we are at Ares trial of blessing run down the steps and get the first checkpoint jump over and you're gonna step on this pressure plate right here which will then open the door what you need to do is get through there so we're going to use our Phoenix clone ability to put a clone right there as soon as we step on this pressure plate we're going to switch to that clone and dodge through as you can see right there so once we're here we're going to switch back to this clone and on the left hand side where the stairs is there'll be a button here make sure you press this button to spawn this cube in then we're just going to jump on top of this cube switch back to our clone and then we're going to use Ares Wrath to power this fan. Once you have landed, switch back to your clone. And this will send you all the way across right here on this cube. And we need this cube so we can put it on the pressure plate. Now this cube is most likely to fall short. But luckily there's a couple of platforms you can actually just jump on. And attract the cube to you very very nice and very very easy so hover over the pressure plate hit it with an arrow to drop down and boom you have opened your first door and got your second checkpoint so yet again activate the button first jump on top place your clone on here like so go down and then activate this with Ares Wrath again once you have landed, switch over to your clone. And you'll be pushed to the next place that we have to go, which is over here. This is all pretty much the same, but it involves lasers and some other bits that make it a bit more complicated. So you have to use your clone a bit more. But once you're over here, get the cube above your head place it above the pressure plate and hit it with an arrow so it activates the pressure plate which will open this door and we get another checkpoint so for this one is a bit different so spawn cube in like so so it's up there right we will then need it to drop down here so we can just hit it we'll hit it again so it hovers a tiny bit there is also a pressure plate here that we'll have to uh, step on because once we step on this the doors inside will actually open as you can see so we're going to place a clone right here we then need to go back over to this use Ares Wrath again push it up as soon as we come down we want to switch over because we want to open those gates we want this cube to go through there awesome then we want to run around to the left hand side and collect this cube so we can place it on this pressure plate right here and kabooey which will open this gate which allows you another checkpoint right hold the button in jump on to the cube and then from here we're going to use Ares Wraith to actually get up here is very very cool but we also need to bring this cube up so what we can do when you're stepping on it you can't actually attract the cube to you and even when you jump up like this and you try and look down and activate the cube it will not work you have to be at a sort of a weird angle so what we're going to do here we're just going to jump off and then do it and then bring it towards us like so so now it is a bit closer to where it's actually meant to be and then we can just pick it up from here very very nice and now we're going to take it around to this side there is an air vent just there as you can see we want to place it against that air vent like so we then want to jump on top place 
a clone, jump down to the fan, and use Ares Wraith again. But as you can see, there are there are lasers here. So we switch over to our clone, and now we need to dodge these lasers, which we can just jump over or just go through if you have a lot of health. And boom, goes right over the pressure plate, hit it with an arrow, and it will go down. So yet again, it gets a bit more complicated here. So we're going to place a clone right here, and then we're going to go over to the backside and just jump and follow this round. As you can see, there is should be a hole in the floor. You can fall through that hole. Now we need to run and jump through this, glide a bit, and go to the left-hand side. As you can see, there is another pressure plate for us, and as soon as we step on it, then gates will open. Switch over to the guy next to the fan. Make sure you activate this button beforehand, and then we're going to activate this fan, like so. As soon as we hit the floor, we switch over to our other clone right here, and this is going to push this cube towards us. We then need to grab it, go on the pressure plate so the door is open. This is where the tricky bit comes in. We need to then throw this box through that gate, and it's kind of hard because all the fans are on. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to charge up our throw ability all the way. Just keep your finger down on that trigger. And then we're going to aim, not in the middle, we're going to aim a bit more towards the left of the doorway. So even if the wind does blow it, it won't be too much of a big deal. So here we go, we're going to throw it right now. And as you can see, it went straight through, which is very, very nice. Now we can just switch back to our other clone. We Pick this cube up, put it over the pressure plate, and hit it with an arrow. Easy peasy. Right. Spawning cube. Pick up the cube. Take it over to the air vent right here. Place it over the top. Jump on top of it. Put a clone on top of the cube. Jump back down, and then activate this fan. Like so. As soon as you hit the floor, switch to your clone. This is going to push us most of the way up here. And then we can just jump over here. We then need to go back and actually pick up this box. Because we need it for a pressure plate, which is up here. Hit it with an arrow to activate the pressure plate. So, it will unlock this button. Activate the button. Jump up, place clone, go over to the fan. Now, once you have activated this fan, it is going to push you across to there where those fans are. Them, fo them fans will not be active while this fan over here is active pushing this cube. Once I deactivate, these will come on and then you'll have to dodge these lasers. So you do have a bit of time to adjust. So I'm going to show you. So. Activate this fan. Swap over to your clone. And as you can see, this fan right here has actually been turned off because that one is still active. As soon as that one deactivates, this fan will activate and it's going to push us along here. We just need to jump over these lasers. Now, you can wait for the box to completely stop if you wish. You don't have to because you need to jump up here and grab the box anyway just so we can use it for this pressure plate so as you can see it is pretty much rinse and repeat but these challenges do get slightly a bit harder and a bit more complicated to do just like this one so let's explore if you come around to the back here you'll notice that we have got a pressure plate right here what we're going to do for now we're just going to place a clone in here we don't actually need it on the pressure plate we just want it there then we are going to activate this button which is going to spawn a cube in then we're going to want to activate this fan which is going to push the cube across and we need to wait for it to get over to solid ground before we hit it with an arrow like so then we need to hit it with an arrow again 
again quickly afterwards before this one goes off and the bottom fan activates. It's then going to push it all the way across. This is where we come to here. We open these doors by standing on the pressure plate. We pick up our clone <coughs> and then we throw it onto that box and then we switch over to that clone. We will then jump off the box and bring the box with us all the way around here which is where our next checkpoint is. Yet again, just place it over the pressure plate and hit it with an arrow. At this stage, we are nearly done with this challenge, but don't forget there is always a secret chest or an optional chest that you can get. And it is on this one. It's at the very end, but all the way up there. So as you can see, we're going to have multiple lasers we're going to have to go through here. There's at least three or four, I think, we have to go through. And it's, it's kind of difficult, but spawn the cube in, as usual. Place your clone on top of the box. Go back down, and then we want to activate the fan. Soon as we hit the floor, we need to switch over to our clone, and then we're going to walk forward, then walk back, so we're actually like this on the box. So it doesn't matter what lasers we come across, they will not hit us. And as you can see, we've already passed multiple lasers. We'll just make it past the last laser here, which is what we want to do. Now, I know this can be pretty difficult trying to hang on the edge. It's either that or you try and jump over all those lasers in time with this box going faster than slow. The timing is always really, really different. Now, before you jump over to these boxes, there will be a griffin that spawns in. So be very, very wary. It might do a special attack and knock you off. Or it might just give you a load of damage. My best advice is make it all the way over to land before you try and fight this thing. So, as you can see, I am jumping over right now. And there it is. Is. Like I said, you can fight it over here if you wish, but you do not have to. I am going all the way to the land before I even try and fight this, just because I think it's the best idea, because it can't knock us off the boxes or anything. So, just fight this guy and get rid of him. So, once you have defeated him, the gates will swing open here. And that is the end of the trial. But before you go there, you want to go to your left because we want to get this secret slash optional chest. So go to the left and you will notice that there are some cubes just randomly floating in the air. We want to jump on these. Both of them because there is only two of them. But yet we still need to get all the way up there. We're just going to use this cube right here. Like so, stand on top of that one, and if you just got the angle, you can then grab that one, and this is going to push us up to the height, and then we go across. We also need to go up another stage, that is why there are some other cubes here. So yet again, we're just going to use this to make this a bit easier, just put the box above your head, like so. And like I said, if sometimes if you get it right, you can actually attract this to you. But as you can see here, I didn't actually manage to... Oh, I did actually. So we can just then use it and it will push us up a bit, which is where we need to get a bit higher. So we can continue to do this until it gets us up a bit higher. But there is like, um, like a stop point on this. The, these boxes will only go so far up. So from here, you're going to have to make it all the way up to that ledge right there. But it's very, very easy. So what we're going to do, we're going to use our triple point ability, Ares' Rage, and then the Shield Blast ability to get over here. And boom, here is the optional slash secret chest which lies on this trial. And then, what we're going to do, we're just going to jump all the way down, like so. Quickly activate your wings before you hit the floor and kill yourself. And boom, you are at the end 
of Ares Trial of Blessing. So mortals, I hope this helped you out, I hope you enjoy, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.